Welcome back to So Florency Life. This is Justin here with you. Uh, guys, first off, I want to apologize for the lighting. Um, this garage uh, that I, I built it a couple weeks ago and I just haven't had uh, the right lighting installed yet. Uh, we will get to it though. Um, today we're going to install the FuryTech uh, ESC um, and we went ahead and got the Bluetooth module to go along with it because uh, I'm going to be installing this setup on a brushed system. We're going to be putting it on Betty. Um, these are for, specifically made for the SCX24, the Axial SCX24 uh, brushed and brushless um, setups. So let's uh, let's hop into it, guys. All right, Furitech. Uh, so I've done a little bit of research and um, let's just get all this stuff out. This is what we're getting here. All right, so this is the main device right here. All right, they give you a little shrink wrap tube, which is cool. Now this right here is if you're using brushed, then set this aside. You will not need this, all right? Uh, so we're going to, if you're doing brushless, you're going to need this, and uh, I suggest you go search another video because uh, I'm not really going to get into that onto this one. It'll be more, this will be more brushed, but you'll be plugging that in, and then your brushed, or brushless lines will connect there. So we're going to set that aside. Okay, this is for, okay, this is going to, we're just going to start, we're just going to start connecting everything. This connects, there's only, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It, it only can connect into one of them, right? So this one, we're gonna, we're gonna, oh, my eyes are bad. It's a good thing it can only connect into one of them. <laughs> All right, so now this is going to go into channel two, right here. Channel two, uh, black goes on the bottom. So this lead right here, the one that has one black, one red, that's going to be your positive and negative for battery. So you're going to plug that in. All right. There we are. Then um, your motor is going to be plugged into, let's see if we can turn this around here. So it should look something like this. You got channel 2 coming from your receiver into the big plug here the plug that's next to your battery lead and then your Bluetooth module is going to go into the smaller plug next to it and then your battery your brushed battery stock or barrage or hot racing or aux will work like this so you're going to plug the connector into two of the three wires there all right. All right. We're going to you're going to get your phone out. Um, download. I've already downloaded the app, uh, but you're going to download the app, uh, Furitech. So F U R I T E K, and you should get one of these actually. Um, if you do, then all you're going to have to do is just scan that with your phone. All right. So once you have the app installed. We are going to open the, the app, and right now it's scanning for the Bluetooth module, right? Uh, before we do any of this, actually, let's go into um, settings, okay? You're going to look for update firmware, all right? Yeah, update, okay? So mine is updated, but if... Uh, so this is your selection from where version is the same as your current. Yeah, so mine's already been updated, but if yours isn't updated, just make sure that you update that and it'll just take maybe two minutes or so. Um, once you got that going, it's going to come from factory. This is gonna be uh, configured to brushless. So this is why you need the Bluetooth module. If you don't have this module, you cannot change this setting into brushed. So motor type, brushed okay 
car type, prowler, user button. Uh, let's see what that is, user button. Oh, that's the on and off switch here. So we'll do start and stop, yes. Yeah, I'll like to turn it on and off here from that button since we're bypassing our ESC there. Uh, temperature, Fahrenheit, I would use Fahrenheit. Um, that's it for now, let's just jump into, uh, uh, let's see, throttle. Calibration, yeah, we should be doing calibration too. All right, so from here, let's uh, plug our motor in. All right, so for, for this right here, guys, let me set this aside. You're going to plug your motor in any, just hit any two of these three wires. Make sure that this little guy, I hope you guys can see, but make sure that little tab is gonna be facing up as this tab faces up so that way your that way your pins match up you know because you're gonna have a hard you'll bend your pins like that so just make sure at least that's correct and then hit any two of those three pins and you should work so we're gonna just kind of force it in there like that all right and uh let's get our remote here Ooh, betty's looking good huh Wonder if the carpets match the uh, drapes, though. <laughs> okay, let's keep it. Uh, let's keep it clean, I guess, huh? All right, we're on. We're on. We're gonna calibrate. So calibrate. Do you want to start calibrate? Yes. Okay. Set zero speed, then click OK. Don't touch nothing. Make sure it's in neutral. Okay. Set max speed. All the way forward, okay. Max reverse. See, it's only going to negative 66, so uh, let's hit okay for now. You want to save? Yes. So we may have to, um, there's, all right, she's all set, successfully programmed, okay. So we may have to go into, um, there's gonna be so many different things in here, guys. Th throttle curve, um, from here, you guys can kind of just experiment because uh, that's what I'm kind of doing right now. <laughs> All right, rotation, running. So, so that would, if you're going forward and you hit reverse, and uh, you would hit the other one, and then it would make you go forward. So let's see, let's see where we're going first. All right, so we're going forward. That's correct. But if you were going reverse, let's see. We hit that. Now watch. See, now it goes reverse when you're trying to go forward. So if you have that issue, then you can just, you know, rotation direction. Um, I'm not going to really mess with this. Let's see how slow it is for now, for a second. Because this is what we're here for. <laughs> All right. It's not bad. It seems like it should be slower, though. Let's see something here. Um, hmm, telemetry, no, running, throttle, throttle, punch, neutral, low speed, low speed, um, let's turn it up a little bit, the low speed, I bet you that's what it is, let's see, let's go up to 20, we turned it up 10, 10 decibels, let's see, oh yeah, That seems better. All right. Um, so that's how we bind it. You have on-site telemetry going. Um, so now I'm just going to have to figure out um, where we're gonna, I'll just have to extend this wire. I want everything mounted back here on Velcro and we will uh, install this heat shrink here. I uh, hope this video was helpful, guys. Um, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if it was or if you enjoyed it at all. Uh, until next time, this is Justin with SoFlo RC Life.